go see. It's a fucking. It's so warm. There's a bunch of birds out. I've been hearing them chirping all fucking night, all night, all morning. And this thing had so much moisture on it. It accumulated fucking rainfall last night. It just dripped down as we... It just dripped down earlier. You can see all the moisture on it. Keep those sticks there. This to show how much it changes right now. That one's still upright. I just left this here. I'm going to leave it further. So it'll be left out either way. I already locked the door and all that. But yeah. That'll be that. And that will be a good indicator. I didn't even check this real quick. What does this say? Uh, 50, 40, 30. We're at about the 20 centimeter mark right now. See, by the end of this, I expect us to be probably at no more than 10, 15 centimeters. Maybe even as fucking early as today. Whoa! Fuck me. But yeah, I I don't want to say it too early, but I'm going to say it. I think this season's a bust. Again. Now, probably saying that prematurely because we still got all February to go. We still have a whole month of winter to go. Practically, anyways. Actually, even more than that. We got two months. We still got half of January. All of February and the other half of March to go. And March typically doesn't have much. This half of January is looking like shit. I think the only month we have a chance of making any more snow is February. Yeah. Let's see how this all looks like when we get home tonight. It's right now. Is it ever a sloppy? Like, seriously. It looks like fucking spring. I'm wearing a t-shirt and pants right now. I, I can even be wearing shorts right now if I wanted to. But the roads are fucked. Side roads are fucked now. It's just slush. See how things go. Or later on today, whatever. This is going to be fucking interesting. I thought rainfall just accumulated. I thought it was like a miscalculation, but then I remembered we got 100% humidity most of the night, so it accumulated moisture on the thing, so it all dripped down. It was probably just enough water left from the little bit of rain we got and dripped down and accumulated. Anyways, I'll see you guys later on. Alright, quick update. I wasn't going to do one this morning, but eh, this one's okay, I guess. Sort of works it. Eh, I'm just giving in. Yeah, 3 degrees, it's already 6. I'll show you, I'll prove to you, that to you guys in a bit. Uh, yeah. Temperature steady near plus 2. I highly doubt it if it's clear, but okay. Uh, otherwise, yeah, 40% chance of flares Friday night, 40% chance of showers Saturday. Cool down from there. A bit. Uh, yeah, see, it's a little better. Monday was 4, now it's 3, but still warms up from Saturday night, Sunday. So, yeah, 40% chance of showers Monday, 40% chance of rain showers or flurries Monday night, 30% chance of flurries all day Tuesday. Yeah. And then, current conditions as they stand are at home, 5.9 degrees. Yeah, and that 0.25 was both from a bit of rain that wasn't didn't accumulate to a quarter of a millimeter, plus the moisture from this morning that gave in and allowed that to happen. But yeah, I'll see you guys later on. 
It's gonna be. I'll show you guys on the drive home too. It's gonna be a fucking nightmare when I'm heading home. It's good. If it gets below freezing or even near it, anyways. Oh. Alrighty. Just look how she looks. Foggy. It's like. It's like not even foggy. It's a it's valley cloud that's slowly gotten down to the surface, so it's more of a mist than fog. Although it is practically saturated down to the surface, so I don't know. Guess you could say. I guess you could say it's, uh, I'll just say it's fog, even though really it's I don't think it is. Yeah, and this is where we stand with the snow now. 1.9 degrees, still dribbling out of the roof. Out of the roof. Through the gutters. It's 1.9 degrees. Alright, well, the last I checked, anyways. I don't know what the dew point is, but, <laughs> well, dew point can be nearly saturated, so, um, oh, fuck me, there's still ice, there is still ice, <laughs> this weather fucking sucks, no breeze, nothing, it's a dead ass breeze, and practically foggy, and, ugh. Fuck did that happen? Still need it. Season's not done. So second here. Come here. It's good enough, I can't tell in the dark. That one's still sticking up nicely. That one's practically fucked. Can't tell what we're at right now, but I have my phone. Let me give me a second here. Mm, still doesn't really help, although I can see. There's a big line there. Oh come on. That's 50, 40, 30. Yeah, it's going to be, it's probably at the 20 mark now, for sure. If not a tad below it, I can't tell because the fucking, so, wet. It's like a portion of it's just soaked, soaking wet and the bar is black, so, line is black, so, I'm <laughs> not going to see it till morning. But, yeah, this weather fucking sucks chance of us building any Jeez. that's how low this valley cloud is too it's it's condensing down to the surface it's like it's overhead right now and I still can't see it it's very thick valley cloud so thanks to the breeze pushed it out this morning then the sun broke out burned it all off had a breeze, and then all calmed down, breeze, everything. And then the sun was melting the snow, which then resulted in radiative cooling from the snow. And then now we're sitting under it again. It redeveloped this afternoon as the sun was going down. The inversion was weak enough to break, but it was still vulnerable enough to reestablish itself fairly quickly. Yeah, we still got that ice sculpture there. Anyways though, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, actually, yeah, later on in the morning. So I think that, uh, we'll see. I don't know what the forecast is right now, so, yeah. Oof. Well then. 
I guess I will be doing a forecast of the AA shooter. I, I've ne this is genuinely the first time I've seen this fog advisory. I've never seen an issue of fog advisory before, but here we are. I got work at 8 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm going to leave at around 7. So this is going to be my first drive in the fog. I've had my first drive in heavy rain. I've had my first drive in heavy snow. I've had my first drive in icy conditions. And now I'm going to have my first drive in fog. Man. I... I hate this place, but it can bring all four seasons in one, <laughs> one fucking, one in two weeks. Yeah. Obviously not that interesting, but I, I certainly say the visibility here is a lot better than the airport. The airport has it down to as well, near zero kilometers. Very dense. Although I'd say here it's probably at a kilometer. Although that's still pretty dense. This is what you would call valley fog. Because this was valley cloud higher up and then it's lowered. Yeah, it's like condensed and condensed and condensed. Welcome to winter. Now we're at that point in the season where it's all valley cloud. <laughs> we had all of our snow and now we're at that point in the season where it's going to be almost consistent valley cloud. <laughs> Which, with above freezing temperatures in the forecast, I don't mind. camera. It's about one degree now. 1.6 the last I checked. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see if I get any rain accumulation from this again. So if it's that sensitive, we got a problem. So also a bit of a snow update too, you can see. Well, we'll see how it looks in the morning, but 9 times out of 10 is going to be the same thing. Yeah. They're funny. Actually, funny yet. Work, leaving work. The, the actual interesting part was before all this fog set in, you can actually see it uh, condensing. Like you can see the moisture falling from the sky. It was like literally a misty rain falling. But that was just because it's such a high content of moisture at the surface. But it was just not condensed enough for fog dense fog at that point. Although, actually, at that point, it was light fog. That was at 8.30. So now, now it's about 10.45 and really dense and, oh my god. I gotta show you guys that. That happens every year, but it feels like every year it gets worse and worse and worse.
Look at that. Here. Let me show you. Every season. The camera doesn't focus. Every season. This thing just, as soon as we get a big warm up, it just fucking cranks. It's probably about an inch or so off the fucking. The difference is quite significant. <laughs> Between the sidewalk and the stairs, it's about an inch or so. And then this is what I mean. This is what I was seeing. It's actually cool seeing it in action. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little update here, forecast update, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. It's this, it's this fucking fog. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, I wasn't going to do this actually, but. Well. This is happening. Uh, yeah, so we got fog advisory in price. I don't remember the last time we got one. I don't even. I don't remember if I, if I was ever getting one in my life <laughs> that I can remember in the last <laughs> fucking 10 years. I don't remember. So, let's just put it this way it's probably a first I've seen that I can remember, but otherwise, pretty much everything else in the forecast is the same. Fog patches just being in the morning tomorrow. Uh, and then 40% chance of flurries, so wet flurries Friday night, overnight. And then Saturday, instead of, I believe it was showers before, is now a mix of sun and cloud with 40% chance of flurries, so we'll take that. And then, past conditions, just a brief check here. See the this 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 is the kicker here. This is the kicker. So you got a breeze. Oh my god! Is this thing gonna fucking just stand still for five seconds? Here's the kicker. You got the breeze, dead breeze practically, and then it kicks up at around noon. It all blows out, and then it dies off again, and it redevelops. On top of the fact that the snow is melting, you got radiative cooling. It's like it's practically like a perfect scenario. <laughs> it's like a perfect setup with stable conditions. You got like, all the perfect ingredients for it, and now it's so perfect we got fog. Now, now we got fog. Yeah. And then the advisory itself, straightforward, obviously. Dissipate late Friday morning. <sighs> They only issued it for us because all these other regions got it. I bet you any fucking money. We never get fog advisories. How many times have we gotten fog down to fucking less than half a half a kilometer and we've never gotten it? So, go fucking figure. And then just the conditions here. Brief check. 1.6, 99% humidity. 1.5, 99% humidity. Uh, on that note, I'll see you guys later on tonight. I mean, tomorrow morning. See how it looks then. Here's the forecast for the morning here. Got fog dissipating late this morning, then cloudy. Tonight, a 40% chance of wet flurries or just normal flurries overnight. Fog crashes developing near midnight. And then Saturday, we got a 40% chance of flurries, wet flurries in the morning, fog patches dissipating in the morning. And you can see, I mean, a big dip from for Sunday there. Although, over here, you can see it re gets cold again. It warms us up again for Monday here. Sixty percent chance of flurries all day Monday, and then we stay warm for Tuesday. But then we cool back down starting Tuesday night because you can see a little minus three and then one degree Wednesday, and then we kind of drop down to near seasonal. That I don't even know actually what's seasonal for fucking mid January, but I don't think one degree is. But I don't know. what do I know? I don't know our seasonal temperatures. Or normal temperatures for this time of the year. But yeah, 60% 60 chance of flurries Wednesday night and Thursday as well. And 
literally just this is where we stand with the fog situation cleared up a bit for midnight 1 a.m. and then well not really 1 a.m. but sort of and then it's just been foggy the rest of the time since see the dew point on well, the moisture data set failed <laughs> at 11 I don't know why it's interesting it's interesting it's just the moisture data set the humidity and dew point <laughs> just that Well, on that note, I'll leave you guys with that. I'll see you guys later on in the morning. Outside to see how foggy it is. I'm gonna talk about a depressing fucking day. Jesus. The moisture content's so heavy out here, I can feel the. Yeah, we're definitely at the 20 mark. The moisture content's so heavy out here right now. I can feel it on my face. Like, it's literally raining, it feels like. Although it's truly not even that foggy. But again. It's about... One degree out right now. <laughs> Driving this shit. This is, in terms of, this is like the heaviest the Valley Collins has been, as in like, no, this is the lowest the Valley Collins has been. This is just Valley Cloud, because this was up at the surface and then just dropped right down. That was above the surface yesterday and just dropped right down last night. See how long this lasts. I'll see you guys later on. Precipitating. Just for any more confirmation how moist it is. I think it's just <laughs> I think this is normal. I just never seen it before. Care to have seen it before. A little better in terms of the fog down here. I say down here because I'm actually at a lower uh, elevation compared to home by about 50 meters. So, yeah, yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. Just pulling all over the place. I would go check out that side street down there, but no. it's not major, it's just pooling. Christ. You think slush is better than ice, but it's really just as bad as fucking bad. I swear to God.
driving. Oh, look, you look at that. This is fucking ridiculous. We got a strong southerly breeze, southwesterly. A strong southeasterly breeze, but uh, there is a breeze. Now uh, the southeast. And we got grass. I want to die. What the fuck happened here? This season's fucking. Just went to like the absolute pit. It, it, it went from such a high to now it's such a low. It, it wasn't a gradual loss of it. It's just been tanking. It's just tanked in the last three days. Now we're at about eye level. Yeah, we're at about 20 now. And that's in an open area, so it's it's fairly reasonable. So like these edges here and like on the lawn and all that, that doesn't count because that's because there's less snow there. God, this thing's fucked because the way we've gone from like minus 22 lows to uh, now fucking 7 degree highs is fucking just destroying the old ass putt tiles here. Yeah, and this is the first time I'm actually home to see this melt occur. Well, at least at a rapid rate, anyways. <sighs> yeah, I might do a round of house later tonight. Tonight, today. But otherwise... Yeah, 40% chance of flurries tonight. Tomorrow morning. So, we'll see. But, honestly, what's the fucking deal? If it's not going to give us a 30 centimeters of snow back on the ground, I don't want it. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. It's not any of any good. Like, literally, <laughs> remember how it's all the way up there. Like, it's fucking ridiculous, man. It's just melting at a. Just it, it, it it's practically putting a hair dryer to a fucking. It's practically just putting a hair dryer on low setting to fucking snow, at this point. This fucking sucks. Can we get a late season comeback? Stay tuned. <laughs> Maybe February can pull off the unthinkable. It will be the second coming. Maybe it will get us back up to 30 centimeters. Maybe it will bring us more cold, but it won't be as much snow or as cold. But I'll just take a fucking bit of a... I'll just take a second coming <laughs> over this shit. And then you can start melting as much as you want. I'll see you guys later on today. The new forecast is shit, so I'm not going to show it. Quick update for the night here. Tonight, 40% chance of flurries or wet. Now, rain showers or wet flurries overnight. And then Saturday, uh, cloudy with 40% chance of rain showers or wet flurries in the morning. And then Sunday, also a 40% chance of rain showers or flurries. On the cooler side, at least, but. Yeah, yeah just a little brief update. Nothing big, nothing small. Well, I mean, nothing big, something. I had a nice little sleep last night, so. Yeah, it's three o'clock now. This is where the snow's looking now. Valley call it obviously vanished. Stick's gone now. <laughs> where are we at? We're about at the fifteen centimeter mark now. Well let's put it this way. That's showing now, so that's very much at fifteen centimeters. It's gone from probably the. It was looking like it was going to be the most promising winter ever to it's just completely the worst season ever. So it's like 
I, in my personal opinion, anyways. Fucking sloppy mess over here. Fuck me. Yeah, and there's the grass here too. Yeah. Well, trends aren't looking promising. Well, the rest of the season's looking fairly near to above normal. And drier as well. <laughs> After what we just went through. So pretty much what we're looking at is just these when the near normal days are looking like it looks like it'll be more near normal than above normal come after well let me put it this way it'll be instead of this long stint of warmer weather we're having right now it's going to be more kind of like temperatures are going to be during the day more seasonal for the so like instead of like five six fucking degrees it's going to be more like one two degrees and then the lows will be below freezing some nights will be below freezing, especially with cloud cover. Scurry, scurries out of here. Come early February, the end of January, I doubt it. But it just, the model, climate models keep pushing it back and back and back to the point now. It's like it's becoming smaller and smaller of a signal. Smaller, smaller of a signal and weaker, weaker of one. So I can instead of it being really below normal and longer, it's going to be like more slightly below normal and shorter. Now it's more like... Yeah. We can see it's we're far from done this season. It's not worthy of writing the season off as completely over, as in like, no more snow, no more anything. There's still snow potential coming up, fucking out tonight even. Well, tomorrow morning, sorry. But, in terms of like getting big snowfalls and very cold air, and let me just put it this way a bunch of actual winter, a good bunch of winter extremes that's pretty much just gone through now. We're done with that. It's, it's, it's non existent now. <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to get anything. I think we got that one last hurrah but yeah again second coming still possible but it's looking quite glum it's really hoping we could get something good out of this season but again yeah I don't think I think our season is practically done now. It's just ended. It's pra I think most of our season is practically done. We could get a few more stints of winter weather for sure. That's that's obvious for the fact that we still have a winter month and a half of winter to go, excluding March. So yeah, we still got a bunch of winter to go, especially if we include March. But. Beyond what we got in, if we were to compare it to what we got in December and January, early January, it's looking night and day from what we're gonna, if we get anything, actually winter like, maybe slightly below normal and maybe some slightly snowier conditions. I don't think we're gonna get anything good this season, the rest of the season. Or to the caliber, or to that. December, early January, caliber. Ouch. So my shoe. But yeah. Like, yeah. Still got about 15 centimeters on the ground, but once we reach like 10 centimeters at that point, a lot of grass is going to show. Well, it's not even 15, really. It's more like. Not really 15, it's kind of like just above 15. 
being a bit too harsh there. It's just above 15. If we were to use a second bar even, that would be just at or just above 15. Above 15 to 20, let's put it like that. But yeah. The season's pretty much hit the shit the bed. I'll see you guys later on with the 4 o'clock update when that comes out. Save the up forecast update till then. It's the 11 a.m. is pretty garbage anyway. Didn't do anything last night because actually the forecast got shittier with the 4 o'clock update compared to 11 a.m. But here we are in the morning here. It's brief again. 30% chance there's flurries or wet flurries or rain showers tonight, overnight, and then 30% chance of showers or wet flurries in the morning tomorrow. Five tomorrow, but then we should cool back down Tuesday, Wednesday. Back down to something more closer to seasonal. And then Wednesday night, Thursday, we got some periods of snow possible. On that note, I'll see you guys in run today. Same noise every time I walk out. Fucking trickling of the snow. Jeez, that was fully covered how long ago. But the same point as yesterday. Very minimal to no change. from yesterday, so I'm not going to make too much out of this. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it looks when I get home in the evening. Otherwise, this is probably going to be the last clip of the day. <laughs> it's been fairly shitty weather. I haven't gotten much interesting shit other than melting snow. If that's really even considered interesting. It's blowing out this cloud cover though, it looks like. Yeah, it's two degrees. It's on the cooler side today. Despite the south of the breeze, so we take. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Forecast of shit. <laughs> no, trust me. Be like. <laughs> Still feel like it. I mean, it's not windy, per se, but certainly got quite the breeze going. This morning, it was like a really, it's been really breezy for much of the night, or a.m. It's kind of like, and then boom, right there, up to the 23k gust. Pretty weak, obviously, but, yeah. Check this in ages. Let's check the temp uh, snowfall amounts. Oh wow. Yeah, you can start to see the 10 centimeter mark. We're probably between 10 and 15 now. Let's 
species. We've lost about 25 centimeters of snow in about, give or take, five days. If not, a tad more. Again, colder signals for early Feb. But does that result in snow here? I haven't checked myself, but I'm very doubtful. I think we've reached that point in the season now. It's just going to be garbage. Snow events already. We're ready at that point. Crispier side temps have stayed fairly, actually reasonable tonight. Reasonable being one degree in comparison to the past few nights. But yeah. So far, looks like the warmer, like the real warmer air is going to stay on the other side of the mountains over there. So it very well mixed down down there, 10 degrees in a matter of one hour, but yeah. The day goes. I thought with the breeze and then the sun potentially coming out later today, or at some point later on today, and already above freezing, I can see us losing probably a fucking another five centimeters today.
got in the way. Those things are gonna go spin up there. my break for like a Ted period so I can just go in with Max one gus recorder my thing still fucking the same. Twenty two at this morning. But again, impeded by like how many fucking different obstructions. A house, a tree. Southwesterly would be warm. Although I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, 
car though. One big thing to note, it did not melt too much today at all because of the cloudy conditions that stuck around it. I mean, there was a breeze, but it stayed pretty cold most of the day. And I think that's actually why it's cold. It's because of all the snow that's still on the ground, so it may be warm, but it cools the snow. But realistically, the sun did come out and it did melt it. Fucking hell, that moon is bright today. Tonight. It's a cool little shot. <laughs> Shit. Alright, see you guys later on today. Forecast. Environment from Environment Canada is okay. It's worth you showing again. Alright, here's a little update for tonight. 6% uh, chance of wet flurries overnight. Got some, yeah, got some stuff maybe coming in, but it won't be anything special if it does move through. Otherwise, we've got snow for Wednesday night. Maybe, maybe get some bit of, decent bit of snow there. And then Thursday, 6% chance of flurries or rain showers. And that's literally fucking it. <laughs> yeah. We'll be on the cooler side for Tuesday, Wednesday, and then warm right back up for Thursday, then cool back down for Friday, and stay just slightly above seasonal for the most part. And then trends are pointing towards at least trends are pointing towards colder, below normal for temps for the uh, end of January, early February, more consistently now. Plus with uh, but in addition to that though, at your brain, less snow potential will be below normal precip. And then this, these were the winds for today here. Now note, 22.5. Well, here's the deal I have with this. While I do believe it, where it's placed makes it really obstructed. So, I wouldn't say this is totally accurate. But, yeah. I'll just leave you guys with that. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'll be ending this video before Wednesday. Or... I'll be ending this video on the same side. In time for the snowfall event. Potential end. Quick update. I'm gonna stay silent. It's okay now. <laughs> periods of snow beginning in the evening tomorrow, two to four centimeters, and then periods of snow Thursday. I assume that's for the morning, anyways, and then they still have those six percent chance of showers Thursday night. And I assume that's for the early evening. Yeah, just a quick update here. I'll be ending the video tomorrow morning. Right, this is the end of the video here. Nothing interesting other than this. Uh, periods of snow beginning late this evening, two to four centimeters, and then Thursday periods of snow ending in the morning. Then uh, a couple centimeters possible there as well. Thirty percent chance of showers Thursday night. Yeah. So yeah, let's see how that goes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.